After months of public urging, the Texas Medical Board is proposing adopting a new rule specifically designed to offer medical exemptions to the state's abortion ban. In a meeting Friday morning, the board unveiled the rule, which carves out an exception for substantial impairment of a major bodily function, including functions of the immune system, normal cell growth, digestive, bowel, bladder, neurological, brain, respiratory, circulatory, endocrine, and reproductive functions. It would also require doctors to document their justifications as to why they would give their patient an abortion. So now the question is, will that be enough for doctors? Some have called on the board to issue an exhaustive list of specific medical conditions that qualify for an abortion. The board pushed back against that. You can't put a list out there uh, that defines what medical judgment may or may not be with every single circumstance that's out there, because not every circumstance is exactly the same. It's important to note that this rule has only been proposed. From here, it still has to go through 30 days of public comment, and then the board could adopt it. What's more likely, they'll amend it based on the public comments and go through the process again. We're still waiting on a decision from the Texas Supreme Court on a lawsuit, Zorowski versus Texas, in which nearly two dozen women sued the state after they say they were denied an abortion despite potential medical exemptions. Amanda Zorowski herself spoke to the medical board Friday morning. It does feel to me like a lot of finger pointing is going on. On the one hand, we have the Supreme Court telling us that this decision is up to you and the clarity should be something that you provide. However, today it sounds like you're saying the opposite. A decision from the entirely Republican Texas Supreme Court is expected in the coming months. But how the Texas Medical Board proceeds could shape abortion policy in Texas. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.